I think it has to some degree. It's certainly not completely across the board, but just think about the earnings season we've come through. The earnings season has been very solid, very good, and we've seen very little reaction from the stocks. And what that tells me is the market is not pricing the here and now. It's beginning to price further out on the horizon. And I think you can make sort of the laundry list, Fed tightening, higher interest rates, trade and tariff, China slowing, Brexit. You have a whole bunch of things that are going to sort of, uh, you know, come to a head in 2019, likely to slow the global economy. I think the market is starting to look at that. It knows that after the tax cut, we were going to get 20% earnings growth this year. That's sort of been recognized for a number of quarters. I think the mm -hmm. market's starting to look more at 2019 and a little bit less at what's actually happening today. I want to bring Lou in, but I want to get a quick answer from you. Does what you just said mean that this is a tricky time to invest? Not that any time is not tricky in some, on some level, but that this is a particularly um, fraught time to be putting fresh money to work. Yeah, I, I think it is a tricky time. That doesn't necessarily mean we're bearish. What I, the way mm -hmm. I think about the market is, you know, investors, it's a little bit of you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. If the economy slows, naturally that's going to get priced into stocks and risky assets. But if the economy remains very strong, again, the Fed and central banks, higher interest rates, higher inflation, probably lower profit margins, these are also potential headwinds. So if growth slows, the market struggles. If growth is really strong, potentially the market could struggle. There's a really narrow right. pathway for the market to do real well going forward. Lou, over to you. And I want you to just sort of uh, punch back to the extent you want to with what David just said, because my notes tell me that you say, quote, right now people should be looking to put money to work. The bull market continues. Still room to run. Absolutely. As we look into 2019, and I think I think you know you're right that there, you know, the market is concerned about what 2019 looks like. And given some of the headwinds that are emerging, whether it's trade and tariffs, whether it's a higher higher cost pressures, um, you, you know, whether it's higher rates, all those things are starting to be factored into 2019 earnings. Um, and as we look at 2019 earnings, yes, of course, we see a deceleration off higher uh, earnings rates from the tax cuts and a stronger economy. But we don't think earnings are going negative. And with multiples and valuations of where they're at uh, and interest rates still relatively low, we think it's a great opportunity to be buying your favorite stocks here. What are your favorite stocks in terms of uh, sectors, Lou? Uh, do you still well, bet, we, we, bet on the sectors that brought us here? Yeah, I think that's right. I think there's a great opportunity in a lot of the sec big secular growers uh, that continue to, to, to grow at, at high rates. Um, a lot of those names have come in 20, 25 percent. It's a great opportunity to be dipping a toe in there. Um, but there's also good companies with, uh, that are, um, have a lot of visibility as you head into 2019, and I think that's important. Uh, you know, you can find those within the healthcare space. You had a segment on waste management, uh, and I think that's a good area to be just because of the visibility and pricing power. And then lastly, there's some areas of the market that are just so beaten down, whether it's within autos or housing. You know, some of those stocks are down 40, 50, 60 percent, uh, and there could be some opportunity there, assuming a reasonably healthy economy as we head into 2019.